Hey guys, let's get to know about Mayans and their pyramids in Tikal Ture. Tikal is an ancient Mayan fortress located in the rainforests of northern Guatemala, extending to Mexico and Belize. It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A very comfortable and a cheap way to reach Tikal is by an overnight bus from Guatemala City, which takes about 8 hours. Tikal is at the entrance of El Mirado jungles with more than 3,000 structures and evidences of people living as far back as 1000 BC. There are still many structures buried and yet to be excavated maybe. The pyramids or the temples are pretty tall too, ranging up to 65 meters, with the tallest being Temple 4, where we can have the panoramic view of El Mirador and witness a beautiful sunset. By 9th century AD, the empire came to its end due to overpopulation, deforestation, drought and epidemic diseases. Sounds familiar? Hmm. Finally, they had to just abandon the city and go elsewhere. We will talk about the epic view later in this video. Let's go in and take a closer look now. Choose your plan with sunset included and spend the afternoon wandering and exploring on your own without any crowd. Siba is the national tree of Guatemala and can grow up to 70 meters in height. Tikal is a city of twin pyramid complexes. The one you see is the East Pyramid of Complex Q, built in 7 AD. It was primarily used for celebrations and rituals and was accessed only by rulers and the high priests. It was also associated to the sun and hence the location. Mayans were known for symbolism and this site is no exception to that. You can see a lot of faces and mass like structures on the upper platform of the temples and uh, they look like some stone projections if not carefully observed. They are mostly seen on the tombs and the mausoleums. Just to illustrate, can you see the head with the crown now? Now take a second look to see the upper tier. Temple 1 is a part of the Twin Pyramid Complex located in the Grand Plaza, which is a funerary 9-tier temple with a shrine at the top. The 9-tier represents the 9 levels of the netherworld and it had the lintel with king sitting on a jaguar throne on the top. The Grand Plaza is ringed by terraces, palaces and courts with couple of stele carrying the pictures of the rulers carved. Temple 2 or the Temple of the Mask is a tomb right opposite to Temple 1 built for the wife of the king. I'm not going to attempt pronouncing the name now. It is a three-step temple with a shrine on the top adorned by a platform of eroded mask which we have seen earlier. It also has various sealed chambers and the large block of masonry on the stairway was used by the priest as an observation platform maybe. Temple 1 and 2 face each other facing east and west respectively. Stila and mass were an integral part of the architecture and it was used to convey the history and use of each place and structure. Stila 16 portrays the king wearing ritual dress performing the period ending ritual with different symbols like sun god, serpent, incense bag, venus sign, anchors, kneelets and sandals. I have always wondered looking at the perfection of the ancient structures if they really had deep knowledge and sophisticated tool and we lost it searching for something unimportant. In the afternoon, I decided to take a stroll alone without a guide, exploring other structures and parts of the Mayan city. It was amazing to see the temples and courtyards displaying the architectural excellence way ahead of our time. On my way to Temple 4, I saw these pisotes marching towards me and I didn't know what to do. So I took video instead. I continued my walk towards Temple 4 for the epic view and the evening sunset sitting over there. Didn't know that I was followed by a couple of friends too. Maybe it got bored hanging out with me and left soon. Sitting on the top of the shrine of temple 4, you can weave the temple 1 and 2 facing each other and can hear the howler monkeys and jaguars in the background with a beautiful view of the El Mirador. Once the sun starts setting, you can see the temples glow with the green backdrop reminding us of the Star Wars landing scene on Yavin. That's why I kept referring that it was an epic view. It was indeed a beautiful sunset surrounded by nature and was a fruitful long day. With this I conclude this video and hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys. Adios.